Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about another important topic that is implantation. So now we saw that fertilization also happened. So zygote is also formed. Now the thing is the zygote will have to move from the fallopian tube to the uterus and not only that in the uterus it should get implanted that is it should get uh, fixed there so how will it get fixed in the uterus so let us have a quick look so implantation of zygote now as we saw that result of fertilization is a single cell diploid zygote so till here we have already discussed so now let us see what happens to this diploid single zygote so now mitotic divisions take place repeatedly. Now when it takes place repeatedly what happens? So the zygote divides mitotically to form blastomeres. Now what are blastomeres? Okay so let us understand it in this way. So zygote was a single cell right. So this single cell undergoes mitotic division to form two cell structure. This two cell structure further underwent division to form a four cell structure. The four cell structure further underwent division to form an eight cell structure. Right? This again further formed a 16 cell structure. Right? So this is how repeated division started taking place. And these multi cell structures were known as blastomeres. So blastomeres is the name given to these multi-cell structures. Okay, so what happened later? Later, these blastomeres with 8 to 16 cells were called as morula. So morula is the name given to an embryo with 8 to 16 blastomeres. So blastomere in itself is a group of cells. Right? So when you have almost 8 to 16 blastomeres, that is a morula. So gradually a morula was formed. So the structures which are present inside the morula, they are all blastomeres. That is they are all aggregate of cells. And then later from the morula was formed the blastocyst. So what is a blastocyst? This is further division of morula gave rise to the blastocyst. So here if you see this started with the zygote. So this is the zygote. Then it formed a two cell structure. Then it formed a four cell structure. Then it formed eight cell structure and so on. So that is how a morula was formed and then a blastocyst was formed. If you see here a blastocyst was formed. And this blastocyst gradually developed and finally it got attached to the wall of the uterus. So you see as eventually the mitotic divisions are taking place, eventually these, um, this zygote is also moving towards the uterus from the fallopian tube. So the blastocyst as I said, uh, it, it again consists of two layers. One is the trophoblast and one is the inner cell. So the blastocyst in, cyst in itself had two layers. So let us suppose if this is the blastocyst, it has one outer layer which is called the trophoblast and it also had an inner cell that is a, a group of cells in the inner side. So this trophoblast being the outer layer, what it did, it attaches itself to the endometrium. So in the uterus, this innermost layer is the endometrium. So the trophoblast of the blastocyst, this is trophoblast. So trophoblast connects or attaches itself to the endometrium. And what about the inner cell? The inner cell differentiates to form the embryo. So finally, what is the structure? Once it is, once it gets attached to the uh, endometrium, what happens? Outside you have the trophoblast which, with which it is actually connected to the uterus and inside you have the embryo and that embryo is formed from the inner layer of cells. So these cells actually form the embryo. So later you will actually have the embryo inside and the outer one is attached to the uh, uh, endometrium. So this is how implantation takes place. So that single cell zygote gradually got converted into an embryo which was implanted or which was fixed in the uh, uterus. So from where did the movement start? The, the entire movement started from the ampulla region. Then it, so this region was ampulla right ampulla region of the fallopian tube then it gradually reached towards the isthmus 
So by the time the blastomeres were formed, it already reached the isthmus. And by the time it formed uh, the blastocyst, it entered into the uterus. And finally, it got implanted or it got attached to the endometrium of the uterus. So let us have a look at the entire process once again with a bigger picture on screen. So the initially a single cell zygote was. So if you start counting from the day fertilization happened. So once fertilization happened, the zygote was formed. So this is the zygote that is a single diploid cell and this is the day one from fertilization the first day itself a single cell diploid zygote was formed now as day passed what happened it underwent mitotic division and formed a two cell structure so this is the two cell stage and when did this happen this happened the very next day that is on day two again over a period of time over a period of one or two days Around day 3, the 4 cell stage was formed. So where again mitotic division had happened. And then later it formed 8 cell stage. So this 8 cell stage was formed around day 4. So this was 8 cell stage. Now you see gradually it is entering inside the uterus. That is why I had told once in one of the previous slides that it takes the zygote to reach from the uh, fallopian tube into the to the uterus it takes around four to five days so now you see it is almost reaching inside the uterus so from this eight cell structure it forms the morula now these are these were the blastomeres that is the uh, uh, collection of multiple cells these multiple cell stages so this morula contained the blastomeres inside it so this morula was formed during this period only around day fourth or fifth day from this modula was formed the early blastocyst so this is the early blastocyst which structure is called a blastocyst a structure where you can actually see an outer layer and an inner layer separately so here you can see that a rough outer layer is there and some uh, inner mass of cells are present here so this is called early blastocyst and it is formed around day five from this early blastocyst, you actually end up having a late blastocyst or a mature blastocyst. This happens around day 6 to day 7. And finally, you have the implantation of the blastocyst. That is the outer layer of the blastocyst will uh, attach itself to the endometrium. So this is endometrium. So if you see, this one is endometrium. Right, And this outermost layer is the trophoblast and the innermost layer will form the embryo. So the embryo will be formed inside and the outer layer which actually forms this is the trophoblast of the blastocyst. And this implantation happens around day 8. So basically the day fertilization happens and the day it is implanted it actually takes around 8 days almost a week. It takes for the implantation of the blastocyst. Now once it is implanted, now it gets strongly attached to the endometrium and then this embryo. After this what will happen? After this we will have to see how the embryo develops because right now you do not see a, a, a specific embryo. Do you see a baby here? You don't see, right? So these are nothing but just mass of inner mass of cells. These inner cells will gradually grow to form uh, different cells. Those cells will form tissues, tissues will form organs, they will form organ systems and that will form a baby inside. So that is how the embryo will develop and that we will talk about that in the embryo development. So this is how the implantation takes place. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.